Here is a team presentation for Rescue Line U19 Team Cars from Raffles Girls School, Singapore. Here is our team. Our team members are Zahan, Caitlin, Alicia and Rachel. All of us have participated in Robocup previously except for Rachel. We have also used EV3, Yesberry Pi and Pi Pico before this, but this is our first time using Spike. Here is the executive summary of the challenge. First, we have to line track, which is following the line, while also detecting and moving around the obstacles while going back onto the line. We will also detect green squares so that we can turn accordingly. We also have an evacuation zone. At the start of the evacuation zone, we have to detect a silver line and after the silver line, we will also have to pick up and place ball inside the evacuation zone itself. After that, we also have to detect a black line which indicates the exit of the evacuation zone. Here is the design of our robot. On the right, you will see an ultrasound sensor. This is used to detect the walls in the evacuation zone and any gaps in the walls. The gap might be an exit of the evacuation zone. It is also used to check how far away the obstacle is from the robot so that the robot can go around it. The placement of the ultrasound sensor is further out in front of the robot so that it can detect error and turn accurately. The front color sensor is used to detect for any obstacle in front of the robot during line tracking. It also detects if there is a wall in front of the robot when it is in the evacuation zone. The front color sensor is placed higher than the balls in the evacuation zone so that the robot would not mistake a ball for the wall and turn accordingly. The bottom color sensors are used to line track as well as detect green squares to know when to turn and the direction that is supposed to turn in. We have placed the bottom color sensors such that it is spaced out between each other with a spacing of 1.6 cm. This is a good placement as it can line track and also detect green squares. Initially, we placed the bottom color sensors such that both sensors were directly above the center of the green square. However, since the robot would tend to turn off the green square, the color sensors were moved closer together so that this mechanism will work better. It is also placed 1.3 cm off the ground so that it does not crash into the speed bumps. This allows the robot to go over the speed bumps and not get stuck when there is a speed bump in front of it. As for the software design, we first had to calibrate the values. Since there would be different values for each color sensor, the robot might end up turning even though both color sensors are on white and hence not being able to find the go straight and find the light when there are long line breaks. Hence, we have to calibrate the values so that when both sensors are on white, they would both sense the same value to reduce the turning of the robot during the line breaks. As for the line track, the amount that the robot turns is dependent on the values from the color sensors. We also coded the robot such that the speed of the robot decreases with a larger difference between the values, which we named the error. This allows the robot to go faster on the straight lines but goes slower on the harder parts of the line track. This reduces the chance of the robot going off the line at the harder parts of the line track due to the robot being too fast. As for detecting the green squares, the robot needs to sense for the green squares as it line tracks. However, it should only turn when the green square is before the line. Hence, when the robot detects a green square while line tracking, the robot must first go forward to check if there is a line before or the green, in front of the green square detected. If there was a green square detected before the line, the robot would hence have to go backwards to determine whether the green squares are on the left or the right, which will determine which direction that the robot turns. As for the obstacle avoidance, when the front color sensor senses a high value, this shows that there is uh, something which is the obstacle in front of it. The robot will hence have to turn and move around the obstacle until it finds the line again. We use the ultrasonic sensor to detect how far the robot is 
away from the obstacle as the robot is going around the obstacle. This would prevent the robot going too far away from the obstacle and might not be able to find the line again and will also prevent the robot from hitting the obstacle. As for the evac zone, to find the exit, the robot goes along the walls of the evacuation zone until the exit is found. This can be shown when there is a large distance sensed by the ultrasonic sensor, meaning that there is a gap in the walls in the wall that the robot is tracking. Hence, th this is likely the exit which was sensed. The robot will also stop when there is a black strip detected, which will signal that the robot has reached the exit of the evacuation zone. Thereafter, the robot will turn and exit the evacuation zone and move left and right in order to find the line to continue line tracking. Now, I will be talking about the strategies and innovative solutions used. Firstly, there were insufficient ports on the spike brain. There were only six ports, much fewer than eight ports on the EV3. As such, we were unable to attach sufficient sensors and motors. We had to choose which aspects of the challenge we wanted to prioritize. Hence, we decided to focus on the other parts of the challenge instead of picking up the balls and depositing them. For the evacuation zone, we coded the robot to find the exit and exit while ignoring the balls so that we would not be missing the lines in between the exit of the evacuation zone and the next checkpoint. Secondly, the robot might not find the line after a long line break. When the robot senses white for both color sensors, meaning that it is not on the line, when traveling for more than 25 cm, the length of the longest line break, the robot will turn left, then right, until one of the color sensors sends black again, meaning that the robot has found the line again and it can continue to line track. Thank you.